pagination trace it and then we'll do further trace it within you in your imagination what in you can make out the objects of imagination you'll we'll see that the objects of imagination keep on shifting from one to another to another to another can i be aware of every object of imagination of every object of my imagination i need to be aware of the feeling associated with every object of my imagination i need to be aware of every object of my imagination i need to be aware of the feeling associated with every object of my imagination just observe the feeling without any reaction just observe no need to change it no need to impose anything there just observe just observe as you are without any reaction
observe every object of your imagination. Whatever is there in me, I am aware of it. while interacting during the session, interacting during the break, being with yourself. One important takeaway is that with this workshop, I am able to observe my feeling the moment I decide to observe it, very naturally, I can see my feeling inside, the moment I decide to see it, I am aware. I can see it any moment, I can see it every moment. The feeling drives my thoughts, thoughts drive my expectations and then I interact with the world outside. So I need to transform my feeling if the feeling is not acceptable to me naturally. So I have to work at the level of feeling. This is an important task for me to transform my feeling with which the contemplation starts. And that is actual development of the self. So it is an important task for me to observe my feeling and transform my feeling. nice <clears throat> so if you feel like we can share some observations so how many of us could see the object of imagination can we raise our hands how many of us could see the object of imagination the object of imagination could you see that how many of us could not see what is going on in my imagination? What am I paying attention to? Any of us who could not see at all? Yes. Take a mic. Turn it on. Yeah. It's on, man. It's on. So nearly 10 minutes we are observing ourselves. Like I can say like uh, once I thought of about my children, then my husband, then that's it, long uh, blank. Then I thought of like uh, my garden in my native because no one is there. Like I need to give water <laughs> to the plant. So I thought of sending my mom to there. <laughs> uh, then again long blank. So I can count only four or five objects, I uh, like uh, things I uh, came into my mind. Remaining time, I'm blank only. Keep observing. <coughs> You'll find that when I find it blank also, then also something is happening. There could be one thing there that some effect of sensation is there from the body. Okay, maybe I'm feeling tired or somewhat, you know then my attention gets diverted there and I do not count it. 
or some creaking sound is there on the door yeah, that, that sensation comes to me i start paying attention i do not count it that could also be the case so whether i am blank or there is some object or the other of my attention keep on observing could you see the feeling associated with it for a short span okay nice so try to observe the feeling see whatever you pay attention to there is a feeling associated with it say if you are paying attention to the family there is spouse there are children there are parents there are in laws now we will find that if you have two children for one child i have one kind of feeling for the other child i may have another kind of feeling for my spouse i may have one kind of feeling for my parents i may have another kind of feeling for my spouse when i remember something i have one kind of feeling i remember something else i have another kind of feeling <laughs> isn't it so the feeling also keeps changing i remember one incident i have one kind of feeling i remember another incident i have another kind of feeling hai na and if there is some doubt some fear in any relationship you just find that that is also starting to appear now the more i pay attention to all those feelings which have got somewhat subdued start surfacing isn't it so two things we said one is that we need to be aware of the object of imagination and the second thing is i need to be aware of the imag- uh, feeling associated with the object of imagination and that i have to observe without any reaction no need to escape from it change it modify it you know impose something try to purposefully see something no just be as you are and observe that is your real state true state what you are at this moment and then there is something also which is my naturally acceptable state for which we are working but i may not be the same you know as i naturally accept to be so at times you'll find that we try to escape from our current state you know somehow or the other because maybe i'm not comfortable with it so first of all let us be aware without any reaction and then we'll see what to be done next so we went through all the seven steps of exercise 1 yesterday so in step 1 we are trying to be aware of the imagination you know in particular the feeling in my imagination that also without any reaction then in step 2 we are trying to see whether my feeling is naturally acceptable to me so in step 1 we are not doing any evaluation in step 2 we are trying to evaluate my feeling so i may have something i need not name it whether it is relationship or opposition maybe i have some kind of fear inside me some kind of pain inside me some kind of joy inside me whatever it could be just observe it without labeling it and then see whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not then the meaning of natural acceptance becomes more and more clear to you then step 3 we are saying that find out whether you are comfortable or not and are you comfortable with this object of attention with this feeling or not at times you'll also find which i could also find in my own exploration that maybe i sometimes start from step 3 i find for myself whether i'm comfortable or not but since you know if you look at the methodical approach we have to start from step 1 but at times you'll feel that i may start from step 3 also i'm able to see that i'm not comfortable within okay now i try to trace what is making me uncomfortable then i get reminded of something maybe something happened in the college yesterday you got busy when you came home then you slept when you woke up something is harping upon you and you are not comfortable in the early morning when you wake up and you are trying to trace you know what is making me uncomfortable and from that you get reminded of that incident so that is your object of imagination which is harping in your imagination and and that is making one comfortable but again we can see whether i am comfortable with my feeling or not then i can also see who is responsible for this feeling who is taking the decision who decide the feeling that i have at this moment is it me or the situation outside now it so happens no that it may be the case that we are not comfortable within 
and you want to come out of that situation that feeling that imagination and we are blaming others for me being in this state isn't it and most of the time you will see that we are blaming others for our pathetic state for something whatever may happen with us we are blaming others we are finding faults in others and that is basically opposition with others now with some clarity we can see that it is me who decided the feeling the same thing could have a different feeling depending on my own state so i am deciding the feeling i get reminded of some incident i pick some person as your, as my object of imagination and i start imagining about him or her and i develop some opposition for him or her but it is me who developed the opposition it's not the person if i am able to see something else about the person then i will not have to that extent or to that degree the feeling of opposition or may have a feeling of relationship also isn't it maybe somebody in the family boiled milk yesterday the milk is spilled over the child was not able to have the milk last night <laughs> you are feeling opposed to that person isn't it when you get reminded and now when you are able to see that this happened because a call came and this person went to attend the call which was urgent that's how it happened now you have a different feeling so it is you who decided the feeling not the other person there may be so many incidents you are you know ringing the bell at home the person inside the house is not opening the door you are getting irritated but you find something that okay this person was caught up in something more important there your feeling suddenly changes it it means simply means that you are deciding the feeling so i can very much see for myself that i decide my feeling it's not the situation outside when i am able to see this then i become responsible for my happiness or unhappiness i feel that yes i am responsible and then i and i have to work for my happiness it is my responsibility to ensure happiness in me not the other person not the situation outside isn't it and then i also get free of this blames and complaints about the other then i can see in step 5 on what basis i decide my feeling whether i get irritated or way i get affectionate whether i get opposed or i feel related on what basis i am doing this what is the basis for this you know behavior attitude of other person pardon the behavior and attitude of the other person the basis made me to feel opposition or unhappiness yeah if you say that it is the behavior of the other person it means you are feeling that the other person is responsible for your feeling of opposition yes sir but again in step 4 what we are trying to say find out is it the behavior of the other person or something within you can it be that with the same behavior you have a different feeling yes if that is the case then i am deciding the feeling the same situation same behavior but with my own assumption my feeling changes if i assume one way i feel one way i assume other way i feel other way yes it means i am deciding my feeling isn't it no yeah doctor. please take my take a mic take a mic uh, let us consider our siblings are somebody is expecting us to do something but we are in a situation uh, we couldn't able to satisfy their expectation in such case um, uh, even though if we explain they couldn't understand and they uh, are in a feeling of opposition towards us how to handle this situation because uh, we are in such situation we couldn't able to do what they are saying so, yeah, so i can see like one thing is how do i explain to the other Mm. and how do i mm. uh, share with the other that is mm. one thing but the important thing is that if the other's expectation is not being met and if the other is getting unhappy mm. do i also feel uncomfortable no i don't feel i don't feel but uh, this makes like uh, uh, we don't get mutual ha- happiness right they are in a situation of uh, opposition towards us yeah so i can see now that the intention of the other person is pure the other person wants to be happy make me happy but the competence may be lacking 
mm. and the expectation is not guided by right understanding mm. that's how the other person is also unhappy due to unfulfillment of the expectation mm, yes if i can see this there can mm. make a program for developing the right understanding in the other so and only way is being, to make them also to realize this right yeah mm. and like one thing is be to ensure the right understanding in the other and mm. in the process i will also share the right feeling with the other so that the other feels assured of me so it's not that i will just wait for the other to have the right understanding so when i go to make a right program with the other i will also share the right feeling with the other you know i'll try to explain to the extent i can and to the extent the other can understand at this point of time and then i can let the other explore theek okay. hai when time permits again i'll again explain but i'll also evaluate whether the expectation is based on right understanding or not you can do pardon take a mic can i <laughs> yeah. uh, the ego and jealousy so ego other jealousy subject. all these traits if you see they are lack of right understanding uh-huh. ego means i have wrongly evaluated myself i have over evaluated myself jealousy means i am not able to see the relationship with the other i do not have affection for the other misunderstanding yeah yeah mm-hmm. so these all are lack yes. of right understanding yes sir yes Jee, yes really. sir my doubt is um, then what is the purpose of those feelings anger jealousy why nature has created if that is so in indel- nature we know nature is very intelligent to create all these things in a perfect way then what must be the reason for these feelings jealousy where what is the role of that now again if you look at your own statement you are saying nature has created these feelings huh and you are also nature intelligent you know <laughs> yeah 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 yes sir maybe there is uh, there is some purpose for that yeah and what we are saying that i am responsible for my feeling so i not i be able to see that it's not the nature that is creating the feeling in me this feeling is getting generated in me because i do not have the competence i do not have the right understanding nature has not created this in me i am there as a conscious entity i have to live and i do not have the right understanding to live so that it ensures happiness in me in continuity so i go one way or the other for example like yesterday this door you know was closed from inside if somebody is not aware another person will come from that side and just try to enter with the same momentum and <laughs> and bang on the door isn't it because one is not aware and then the you know injury is there in the head right now what has happened i am not aware which way to go inside the room that's all if i am aware that the door on the back side is open i'll go from that side so if i am not aware what is going to make me happy i keep on banging in my relationships either with human being or the rest of nature <laughs> and get injuries <laughs> why what made them to be an aware of uh, that thing before doing anything pardon why that awareness because he should understand mm-hmm. but he could not yeah you see like we can see that i am a conscious entity yes. and i am awakened up to some level mm-hmm. maybe up to the level of expectation or desire you know or thought i am awakened only to that level but i have to live with the whole reality so since my awakening has not taken place you know i am doing something or the other but i have to do something for the other for example i and you have to talk to each other but i am not able to understand myself i am not able to understand you but we have to talk so with some supposition some assumption i will talk to you you will talk to me and then we may commit mistakes yes from there i get a reflection that i have not come to understand i need to understand myself i need to understand you so that our behavior is mutually fulfilling so living this way and getting unhappiness in the process i also feel motivated to work for right understanding so that it ensures mutual happiness mutual so we have to live anyway app my body has to breathe every moment you know like regularly isn't it <laughs> i have to feed my body every day i have to make a program for that even if i understand i do not understand whether i am the body or i am with the body i am inside the body i am outside the body it is clear or not but i have to make a program for my body i have to live with my family members i have to live with the rest of nature isn't it so i have to live every time 
and I am not clear what living means, what life is, what is the purpose of life and all these things are not clear. So that's what education is meant for. So we are very much there in nature, we are interacting with the nature but only that we do not have the right understanding of nature, we do not have the right understanding of existence. So we are living but not happily. This happiness is merely an indication that I have come to see the reality as it is. That's all. When I am aligned with coexistence, I am happy. When I am misaligned, I am unhappy. That's all. So this gives me a hint every time that I have not been able to develop myself. You know, I have not been able to see the reality as it is. Sir, uh, should we say my natural acceptance, his natural acceptance, uh, it is enough that natural acceptance. Yes. We can just say natural acceptance. So that's why we will not say my natural acceptance uh, yeah, or my right understanding. That is not needed. Yeah. In introductory workshop, we get questions like this. That my right understanding is not the same as his right understanding. <laughs> that is not required actually. <laughs> and what to do? Because nature's acceptance. Uh? Why? No, no. What, what is with the... Same the same same? Take a mic. Yes, Why at the initial stage, people are attending the workshop for the first time. So at that time, it's quite natural. They will yes, say yes, only yes. like that, yes. my natural acceptance. Yes. So the question is fine. I'm just saying that earlier we used to assume that it could be something like my right understanding and something like your right understanding. Uh, Baya, today morning I had an interesting observation. While I was locking the door, I was conscious that I am locking the door. So, that is, I am mindful, but now in UHV, what we are uh, proposing is at the self level, I have to be aware that I am locking the door. So, previously I was at the thought level, if I am not conscious, then people may say, even I will say that I was absent minded, I do not remember whether I locked the door or not. So, that was at the thought level, that means mindfulness. But in UHV, uh, we are proposing that while locking the door that I have to be aware at the self level. Yeah, not only that, mm. I have to be aware of the entire existence. <laughs> <laughs> while locking the door. While locking the door. <laughs> 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 Every moment. <Baya>. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. You just kindly throw some light on it, Baya, because I thought at that moment I am locking the door. Yeah. Then how to be aware of the entire existence, Baya? So while locking yes. the door, maybe ah. my spouse is there, my children are there. Now it may be the case that my child is playing and going to the road. Mm -hmm. Now whether the door is locked or not is less important. My child doesn't go to the road is more important. So I may tend not to pay attention to the locking of the door. I am paying attention to the child. This may quite happen with a feeling of relationship for the child. Mm -hmm. So mindfulness doesn't only mean that I am only paying attention to the nearest object that is there to me. I am paying attention to the whole. So I may forget at times. This may happen. Mm -hmm. right? Because something more is important for me and I am paying attention there. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it is possible. At the level of self, it is possible that yes, I yes. can... Any action of doing, I can be aware of the entire existence. This is required, not only possible. <laughs> I can always be aware of coexistence. And with that, I can play my role mm -hmm. wherever I am. Thank you so much for you. I oh, yeah. said this because let us not assume that with right understanding, I will not forget anything. No. We may. <laughs> It's not that with right understanding you are going to remember everybody's name you know, forever. <laughs> no, we may forget. Baya, uh, in continuation with this, being aware of myself is something or observing is something what I have to do now. And being aware of the entire existence, when I am seeing inside, will it be possible for me? Yes, that's the beauty of it. Seeing inside, I am able to see the whole outside. But uh, when we say that we are observing something which is outside, does that mean that I am being aware of the entire existence? The diagram that we had yesterday, you know, 
looking inward then participating outward so what is the difference between now bhaiya like uh, we have observation outside we are not doing it inside yeah so is that the same as being aware of the existence looking outside and what is happening when i am just looking outside i am only paying attention to the form and property i am not able to see the uh, relationship yeah innateness i am not able to see the submergence because i am just paying outside attention outside so when i am just paying attention outside and i am not clear how to pay attention inside then i am just caught up in form and property so i keep on collecting information that's all but i do not develop the right understanding that is the problem in fact with the prevalent education if you see and the prevalent science we are paying attention outside and we are trying to conclude so many things bhaiya this uh, and object of imagination are they both same so imagination is basically desire thought and expectation put together now where are they focused that is the object so that is always there in you desire thought expectation but the object may vary from you know point to point time to time you are paying attention to the slide maybe just now few but seconds back different. you are paying attention somewhere else yes that could be the case and it is blank sometimes just find out keep it open when you say it is blank what is happening in fact it so happens no that when object of imagination moves from one point to another during this transition it appears blank but you see that there are so many objects here also how i move from one object of attention to another try to analyze it you can you will feel happy seeing that how i caught this object of imagination and after the previous one what motivated me yes and then you can see the feeling the feeling that drive drives my imagination from one point to another so i get reminded of some family member from there i get reminded of some incident then there is a feeling that is driving my imagination from the family member to that incident i am feeling related so i feel concerned with that concern i get reminded of something sir here one more question yesterday you have told some benzene some structure is there a logo benzene in Achha. case of doctor some logo is there lawyer some logo is there teacher is it any logo <laughs> already card they have put the lawyer some logo doctors nowadays they have put some new logo they have found in no, teachers why is... don't we create a logo for separate because everywhere you can say teacher is very important to handle every students in the beginning onwards why did you not create a logo for teachers yeah first of all let me say the example that i gave was that during my sleep also i am imagining and then i am analyzing something so like the question was no you can thought trigger a desire and from the desire you know thought can get triggered so i look at something then i imagining i am imagining something in me and from there i get some idea so it was just to illustrate you know how this came this benzene structure now what you are saying is completely different from that point of discussion now if you want to create a logo you can <laughs> bye let us be role models for the society so we are ourselves a logo <laughs> when you come to the college people say that yes this is a person we definite conduct <laughs> yes what is the purpose of that logo also bhaiya ji object of attention this object uh, includes all the material and conscious units yes even so, space even space pardon identification so no. that's why it's not called as units to observe because it includes space yes so object of attention it can be a collection of units also some event you are reminded of it could be a collection of human beings rest of nature but if uh, object uh, of attention means we mainly focused of materials so not no, no, no. that is that object, is the yeah object in that's so why that's so it it includes all conscious space uh, material and
Bhaiya, good morning, Bhaiya. I have a question. Like, is there any person who has seen that eternity, like super bliss, uh, who's bonded with the family? Who? Who has bonded with the family, who is in family, has seen that eternity? <laughs> Quite possible. Why not? Since this proposal We are all trying us. for it, but I want, because all the per saints, I, whoever I'm thinking, they are out of their families. Like uh, uh, Vivekananda or Ramakrishna, even Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, both were in the same stream. Like Sharda Devi Amma was also th there in the same stream. Gautama Buddha, whoever I think, they are out of their family. I want to know if any person who stays with the family is seen this eternity. I just want to know that. The answer is yes, but let us keep it open. And the next one could be Because you. every day we are... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what is eternity, sir? <laughs> sir, what is eternity? Pardon? What? Running, uh, like we are analyzing, we are evaluating like whether it is right, right understanding on the basis of every moment since we want to be happy continuously, we are going to e start evaluate things like I am, whether I have understood this right or not, every moment I am going to do that, fine. But I am not only working for me in my family, for my children also I have to prepare what is there in the kitchen, what is not there in the kitchen, uh, what my children have to study, what, how much I have to pay for them, what is their food and uh, what my husband do. Everything, every moment I have to concentrate on all these things like uh, one after the other the things are coming inside my mind. Then is it possible like I am in happy states, every moment I am evaluating also sometimes I am happy, sometimes I am unhappy. Whether it is possible for us to continuously be happy staying with this kind of situation, not only in family like working mode, whatever. Because if I want to pay fee, I have to run faster. I have to earn more. Like when I have to earn more, I have to go for my professional skills also. Like I have to concentrate on everything, every moment I have to think on something else which like uh, which sometimes it may go be beyond that happiness like it it may go out of happiness how to work on this continuously yes so first of all very sincere question being in a family being in a profession you know how can we ensure right understanding and how can we be always happy you know so in fact we'll see that when you are making those nine points right understanding followed by wisdom and then followed by science so when I work for right understanding, I become wiser in the process. So I am able to see how to fulfill my responsibility in the right way. So for example, I am able to see that I need to have a family and I have responsibilities in my family. But there could be different ways of fulfilling that responsibility. For example, educating my child. If I am able to understand what education means, then I will not be driven by the current norms of education. I can see that education essentially means developing the right understanding and with that ensuring the right skills. So there could be several modes of going about it. So I am no more compelled by the prevalent norms. I have alternatives available to me. I can look for that. Similarly, you know, I have to work for physical facilities. I am able to make out what physical facilities, how much physical facilities I require and with that what kind of program is required. I can make it out. So the more, the more I am able to work for right understanding, I become wiser, I become, I have a better perspective towards holistic perspective within me. And then the science, the program and implementation and evaluation also gets transformed. I am no more driven by peer pressure. That is everybody is sending to convent school. So I am not just giving an example. I have to do the same or you know, I have to go by this profession only or I have to make my child you know, a person in a society with this reputation only. No. If this serves the purpose, well and good. Otherwise, we can try to develop alternatives. So, if the alternative is available today, I will use it. If not, I will work for the alternative. As far as me concern, it is okay for me uh, because I want to be in the state of happiness, fine for me. But for my children, I want to give them a good education usually. Right? And also, uh, we. Uh, as for me, it is okay to uh, be in a fan without AC, it is fine for me. But for my children or for my husband, for them, I should make them understand. Actually, it's my responsibility to make them understand. But it is ha not happening at the right time. Right? Then that time I cannot be happy at all. Like for some cases, we will have some uh, words of struggles. Everything will come. What hap How I will be happy for that case? Yeah. And all, how I'll so the, no, no, let me respond. 
so the no problem is here since the other is not happy i am getting unhappy now this is my lack of right understanding i am able to see that the other is preconditioning the other is trying to derive happiness out of sensation or some preconditioning be the child or the spouse so they need to understand to ensure happiness in continuity this is something that i am able to see very naturally i am able to make my program and and my program is definite to work for right understanding to work for wisdom to work for and a science my program is definite i can see the same program for my family members and i can also see that they will take time because they are conditioned otherwise isn't it so i will be complimenting them every time but i will not feel unhappy if they are not able to accept my complimentarity and second thing which is more important presently we see our relationship only with the spouse and children assuming this to be my family now if you look at it you know as a relation between self and self i am related to the entire humanity so there are people outside my family who are ready to understand whom i can compliment better so i spend some time with my family members also some time with the world outside also because they are also my relatives it may also be the case that when i am able to relate to them i am able to create an education system in the society in which my child can also become a part so i have now a better sense of my family i have better sense of my role in the family the problem is that ultimately with all said and done we get restricted to a few members in my family as assuming that to be my family and then unknowingly we are doing the same thing again and again because we have to go for accumulation of physical facilities we have to go for you know happiness derived from favorable sensation and then we get caught up so on one hand we are pained by all this but on the other hand we are not making the right program also thank you ji nice nice natural acceptance assuming this international school is going to make my child happy you know we are trying to send there and in fact we have a doubt if i send my child to my to the international school he may become international <laughs> he may drop me in the old age home and become international <laughs> so we have a doubt also there in fact it so happens if you look at the complete mechanism how it happens no somebody in the neighborhood is sending to some elite school and i am now i am in the evening talking to my neighbors and they are saying that all of them are sent to the elite school i have not sent i come under pressure right and then i sent that my child and i also able to see so many news coming from the elite schools and our children having so many mild practices and i am sending my child also there feeling afraid also there right and i am not able to i am complaining also what has happened to the society to the education to the people to the government but i am doing the same thing again and again so i have to really look into myself in fact looking at it more closely i have chosen that society where i am living i am coming under peer pressure by my own choice i am not clear of the education the right education so you have to look into these aspects also but with time only not all of a sudden and i'll just say that keep it open also this is something that i have to be observant about it's is it so that others are compelling me to be unhappy or it is my choice good morning so is there any uh, relationship between the observation what we are making and the dreams we are getting when i am intensely doing this uh, observation and uh, i used to get uh, the dreams continuously so it is not uh, any uh, serious thing but uh, the activities all those things are coming in the dream i observed the same thing when i was doing that vipassana meditation course also during that time i was getting uh, throughout the night i think i was in some uh, dream only is there any uh, relation yes yes so see what becomes a priority for you you pay attention to that so when you are trying to look inside and trying to be resolved that may become a priority in such a way that during sleep also that the example that we took somebody was thinking about the benzene structure and i become so important that during sleep he found out some solution so it will so happen that you start questioning certain things you are not able to resolve while you know you are working during sleep you get some some thought some idea it flashes to you in the morning you feel that yes it is done <laughs> got it <laughs> isn't it it will happen very naturally you will see that now the quality of sleep also changes isn't it when you wake up 
you know you are able to somewhat be aware i am not this body i am with the body <laughs> in fact you will see that when you become active you gradually you know take yourself to be the body otherwise before that you are not assuming to that extent <laughs> yes because when you sit you stand then you have to take control of the body so you become with the body completely otherwise or like you feel like i am the body at that point of but before that the assumption is not up to that depth or extent when you are trying to see yourself with the body and that you are not the body you will see that difference in your sleep while you are getting awake because that awareness is there inside you now that i am not the body nice bhaiya bhaiya under contemplation contemplation level then all will have that mutual fulfillment and happiness throughout but that is impossible it will take time for us to change itself it will take time for the entire family different thoughts different idea different dreamings so it will definitely it will take time but suppose if the family is not getting into contemplation i am getting i am entering into the stage of contemplation my thoughts my desire everything based on my actions there is a chance for them also to change am i right yes yes that that will definitely change yes. like suddenly coming and asking and why are you silent and their opinion about you will also change they will start saying to other that she is a very nice woman <laughs> then yesterday and today you made us a mood in the morning by imagination so that time every time when somebody asks me to imagine i get irritated actually i don't even have the thought of getting imagination but what i decided yesterday and today is why to imagine things which gives irritation and happiness to me first i want to make myself and inner things happy then only i can start this morning freshly when i got this thought i remembered things which gave me happiness i started to but today i had deviations but even then i focused yeah but what we are saying that in place of trying to impose some imagination in you just observe what you are imagining and then be clear about that otherwise that will again be a kind of enforcement upon you some position upon you yeah that i realized today yeah, you are right for that that i realized today but yesterday i didn't realize that so i wrote some little poem like think of that imagination but today i realized that force of imagination nice nice so just be as you are and observe this is what is being said just be as you are and observe you know and then go further to observe what is the basis of your imagination thanks nice what is the difference between this observing your imagination by closing for some time take the mic take the mic what is the difference between uh, meditating and observing your imagination see meditating is being basically paying attention so also in observing your imagination we are paying attention on what we imagine or we are realizing the object so what is the main difference between these two so here we are saying that pay attention to the imagination many times it may happen that i am trying to pay attention to my breath i am trying to pay attention to some you know kind of thing in my imagination so what we are saying the object of imagination has to be you know like whatever is there inside you be observant of that try to see your imagination bhaiya i have a doubt so this is regarding relationship bhaiya uh, when i am in the family and when i am with my friends i feel like when i am with my friends i am more comfortable but when i am with my family i feel like i am going to the level of adjustment whatever they do okay let me adjust okay let me know myself and be calm but when i am with my friends i am not having that level of adjacency but i am having more comfort zone with them so how to deal with this bring your family members to the workshop <laughs> <laughs> no need for compromise <laughs> that is too difficult bhaiya it appears because i feel yes. yeah i feel comfort with my husband and also to my kid to a level but i have my in laws with me so every time i feel that a kind of adjustment is going even today morning everybody was sleeping i woke up by 6 o'clock so i don't know what to do everybody is sleeping why should i wake up so early that was going in my mind then i thought that okay i am having a work to do i am having a process of self exploration so i have to go for it so i prepared food kept it and i just came out 
So I I feel like every day I'm getting up, doing all the household chores, coming to the workplace, and then evening going back again, doing all the household works, taking care of my kid. Everything is like a kind of adjustment there. So how to develop the comfort zone in the relationship part also? Oh, where are the in-laws coming in picture here? <laughs> Even I should take care of them. They are elderly. They are taking in medications. Now we have a feeling of relationship for the spouse and children. So you are not getting disturbed there. And with in-laws, we are getting some other kind of feeling. So it is something to do with my feeling. I have one kind of feeling for my spouse, one kind of feeling for my child, another kind of feeling for my in-laws, isn't it? So it is my feeling. First of all, I have to observe it, and and then I can see that everyone has a role to play in the family. So it's not that I will spare my spouse and child and just expect my in-laws to work in the family. Everybody can work, and if I am getting up early in the morning, right? So I am doing the chores in the morning. Somebody can do the chores in the evening. Somebody can do the chores in the day. And it may be the case that while you are here, your in-laws are taking care of the child. You are not paying attention to that. No, I do, <laughs> sir. I do. I know that they are taking care of my child. They are taking care of the house also. Yes. But sometimes I feel that I expect some care and affection from my in-laws as how my parents did. Yeah. So that see, thing is the, lacking. Now you can see. Now the more we are discussing, you are able to see that the situation is not so difficult. Earlier we find that this so difficult situation. Now you see that no, with child and spouse, not so difficult. With in-laws also difficult. earlier but not so difficult when i explore further now what is the problem that i am expecting something from them right they might be expecting something from us so are we ever able to sit together and have a dialogue maybe they are also feeling the same way that we, i am doing so much for you know her and she is not paying respect in return or paying attention in return they may also have so we can get into a dialogue So every day we have dinner together. Eight o'clock, we everybody will sit together, talk, and have dinner, and we'll talk about the day, what all happened in house, what all happened in my workplace, everything we talk. But this slight uh, careness, uh, caring is lacking. I feel so. So next time we talk, whatever happened within you today, not in the house or hena over dinner, whatever happened within you, isn't it? How happy or unhappy you were there today? how is your health today you know see in the relationship we could have like when we talk about exchange we can have three modes of operation one is take and take i am trying to take maximum from the other the other is trying to take maximum from me other could be take and give i am trying to take from the other the other is trying to give to me but there could be a mode of give and give i am sharing the right feeling giving care giving affection to the other other is also you know giving share a uh, giving care giving an you know, affection to me isn't it we are helping each other complimenting at least i can start from give and take in place of going for take and take i can start from give and take and then gradually see the other is also human being he or she has the same natural acceptance one can able one can be able to see that yes the other person you know, is trying to compliment me this does ha- this does happen you know many times you'll see that we have a doubt that the other person will not respond but it may be the case many times it has been found that a general observation not that in every household it is going to happen after marriage there are situation trust situations particularly with the in-laws and and we feel like we are being dominated or you know things like that but after some time that relationship bond gets developed and so happen that the daughter in law is not in the house for some days the mother in law starts crying this does happen i have seen many in many houses this does happen earlier you were feeling that this person is here to make me unhappy but now we feel so affectionate isn't it so but for during that duration i need to have the feeling of relationship isn't it so think over it so we at step 5 we are saying that on what basis did you decide the feeling you have at this moment you decide it on the basis of understanding or on the basis of assumption so observe it rest we will discuss hai na next now we'll go to exercise 2 also briefly so this we did in exercise 1 we tried to be aware of the feeling you know then we'll also try to see whether the feeling is acceptable to me naturally or not whether i'm comfortable with the feeling or not then who decide this feeling right now you'll see that when you are trying to pay attention 
to your imagination sometimes the door was creaking somebody some person was coming somebody some body mobile was ringing what was happening we are getting some sensation from the body also was it happening so we keep on getting some information from the body so the sensation is also important so for that i have to also see how i am related to this sensation or so to say how i am related to this body the imagination is there in me but i am there with the body so i need to see that yes i am and the body is i can see them by observing their activities so how do i become aware aware of myself by looking into my imagination how do i become aware that i have a body in the early morning ask yourself do i have the body or not <laughs> yes uh mike this, one. this is just that title exercise 2 my question is uh, this desire thought and imagination does it go in the self even if it is not associated with body yes this is my continuous activity then uh, why does it associate with body because it is not developed to the extent of realization okay okay so unless i have been able to realize the whole existence as coexistence i am not happy in continuity so i am not comfortable with me also so that's how I, that's how i need to do something to ensure right understanding in completeness in me and we can see that being with the body also it takes so much time for us you know when we are interacting having dialogue trying to explore without the body you know it may be much much more difficult how do i validate so to be able to develop myself i do need the body but without body what will be the content of imagination what have you accumulated so far if you see when you try to look into your imagination initially you see whatever is happening around me in the present gradually you start getting reminded of the past all those accumulated desires thoughts expectations are there in you you are churning them and we also see that when i am there with the body since i am interacting with the body also things at the lower level get triggered more at the level of expectation or thought when i am not interacting with the body things at the higher level will get triggered more my own assumptions at the level of desire my conditionings isn't it my inclination towards sensation that will also keep on driving me so i am there body is there so i get to know that the body is there by you know reading the sensation from the body how do i become aware of the body so for example if i have to say that i have the body then the first thing i'll do i'll look yes body is there you know <laughs> so through my eyes i can see that the body is there even if i am not looking through my eyes you know through some sensation i can make out that body is there then i transact information with the body by giving instruction to the body and reading some sensation from the body so i transact with the body so i am there body is there and i am exchanging information with the body so what i am doing so when i am speaking i am sending some instruction to the body and then i am seeing your faces so i am reading some sensation you know from the body this is something that keeps on happening regularly so i am giving instruction to the body and reading sensation from the body now the next thing to observe is i am the one who decides what instructions are to be given to with the body to be passed to the body and what sensations are to be read from the body so it's again here as you were observing in step 4 of exercise 1 in step 3 we can see that it is me who decides so for example now that this workshop is being conducted so you are important so i am more observant about you but if somebody asks whether you know what is there written on the uh, wall there i may not be observing it since this name is here we can read it peter drucker but seldom we go back and you know <laughs> read that this name is there because that is not important so even though that sight is there in front of me i am not looking at it i am not reading that sensation if somebody asks what is the color of the chair on the back side i may not have observed that is not important so i read only those sensations which i consider as important isn't it 
Similarly, there are so many things happening in my imagination. I may not say everything to the other. If you start uttering everything that comes to us, <laughs> you can just see how many things we will speak and just we have to speak so fast. So many things occurring in our imagination. So we do not speak. We speak only that much which is required. And there are so many sensations coming from the body. But we, after some time when we decide that, okay, this leg is not paining, we change the posture. Otherwise, you know, we continue with that posture. So we send the instruction to the body as and when required. So it is me who decides, not the body. So I decide to transact from time to time as and when required. I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation. Thus, there is a distance between me and the body. So, next thing that I can observe is that I am not the sensation. I am not a part of the sensation. I am different from the sensation. I am away from the sensation. So, the sensation is coming to me and I am reading it. At there was a thought, this is quite natural, yes, I am not the sensation. But am I able to observe it within me? And how do I get affected by the sensation? Some, at some point of time, I start assuming myself to be the sensation. So, for example, you are going outside during the break and somebody stamped over your feet. Right? A very pinching sensation comes to you. What happens to you? You are in the workshop, you will not react that much. But it was in the marketplace, <laughs> then what will happen? <laughs> so, you just see what happens. At that point of time, am I able to see that I am not the sensation? Or I assume myself to be the sensation? What happens? What happens when a pinching sensation comes? So, try to see whether I am able to see that this sensation is not me. This sensation is outside of me. And I am reading the sensation only as and when required, right? And if you look at it closely, the whole body is full of sensations. The body is made of so many cells. Every cell is active. Every activity of the cell is a sensation for me. I read the sensation if required. Now, let's say you pay attention, you, are, you assume that this foot is just like that, you know, fine. But you start paying attention to any point on the foot we will say that you start reading the sensation there. You will see that some vibration is taking place. Something is happening there. So, I decisively read the sensation. You will see that if a person moves to some place where a railway track is there, trains are passing day and night. For the first few days, this person is not able to sleep. At night, every 10 minutes, the train is passing. <laughs> it is a big disturbance. But if you just look at the people who have been living there, they are just living there. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> this is other kind of influence. Yes. When there is extreme pain, uh, I forget that I am coexistence of self and body. I assume that I am body. So, I pay more attention that something happened to my body. So, that is what I, I observe when there is extreme pain. Yeah. So, when there is extreme pain, <clears throat> then also I will do something. But that can be either by the imagination, assumption that I am the body or even I am with the body and I have to take care of the body. That is also possible. But what I am doing currently, that is something to be observed. <clears throat> so, am I able to see my separation from the body? Am I able to see my separation from the sensation? That this is separate, this is not as me. I am there, body is there, body is different from me, separate from me. I am separated from the body, I am separated from the sensation, I am at a distance from the sensation. Distance does not mean physical distance. I am at the same in a point in space where the body is there, but still I am not the body and that is how the distance is there. So, the more I am able to see this, you will see that whatever sensation comes to you, you are aware of that. You are able to read that, we will do that. In fact, in the morning we have been doing that also as an exercise. 
you will also get to see that whatever taste I get from the body, it is only an information, a sensation I have read. If you are able to see this closely, you know, then you will also see, see how much effort I have been making to get some favorable taste from the body, which is merely an information. For example, if you look at the taste that I get from food, okay, if you are eating for 15 minutes, just try to find out for how much time the food is stays on the front part of your tongue. Hardly 30 or 40 seconds because the more tastier you find, you gallo, you know, simply, uh, what do you take, you know, uh, take it inside, fast. <laughs> so it is staying on the front part of the tongue for a very short span of time and you are getting the taste from here, right? And that also is only an information. That is only is an information. And for that information, I may be putting something in my body which can create an unnecessary sensation in the body for three days, four days. <laughs> I eat something which disturbs my health. You know? Is it true? <laughs> Yes. My son will do the same. When we are going outside now, I will tell him to stop. He will buy some item, but he won't eat that. He will look for others' plate and he will grab uh, from all the plates and he will eat. He will eat up to this. Once he came out of the hotel, he will vomit everything. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell him for many times, but he won't. He will repeat the same. So if you see the taste that you are getting from the tongue is only up to that point where it is on the front part of the tongue. But the food is there inside and it is generally said that it takes 48 hours to get excreted and for the food. So for that much of time and it is disturbing your body, something that you took. Sir, sir, sir here. Yes. Sir, uh, we, uh, we are able to now understand our self is different, our body is different, but uh, the people around us, uh, our self is having a feeling for them, but only through our body we can express the feel. And um, for example, I say, I'm out here, especially for this UHV, early in the morning I get up 5.30, before my kids wake up, I come out. And uh, almost when I go home, it's six o'clock, uh, and they are once again out. They don't see me at all. So, uh, not only in the case of kids, my husband also. So, uh, by the time my husband comes home, I'm almost asleep. So, of course, I have to give some importance to the sensation of my body also, right? So, I sleep, I doze off. So, we don't have time to share our feelings, but I still have a feeling for my spouse. So, how do I express my feel for my spouse and kids. Now, yes, there could be some cases in which you have such a staggered schedule where you know, the schedule of work is completely different. So they, these are the issues, fine. Then you have to see how we are spending the time together when we are not having any this kind of schedule on weekends or something. So for that you have to devise a program. You have to see how we can you know, maybe professionally also do something so that the timings are coherent. But with the child, I don't think there is an issue because in the evening the child is there at home. Uh, sir, to be very frank, even my child will understand me, <laughs> only the spouse. Because uh, like um, I tell her, uh, my kids and all, I tell them, see, da, mom is out for a, a important work. So I'm not able to spend much time with you. Uh, just adjust for five more days. Then we shall go out together, we'll do something together, something or I'll buy you something. Then they'll get convinced, okay, mom is busy. So my elder one will convince the younger one, uh, see, mom is busy, don't disturb her, she's very tired. Uh, okay, we'll manage. But after five days, she'll play with us. So wait for the, let us wait for that. They have that patience within them. My kids are okay, but uh, I don't think, I, I don't know how to handle my spouse really. So yesterday and all, really, not only yesterday, today also. So it was like, um, always you go out, you're uh, just getting up early in the morning, you're going out early in the morning, you're coming out late night. 
so what what do i do and uh, beyond this um, uh, now it's holiday for kids so we have to take care of the kids also so we don't have anyone to take care of our kids we are both managing ourselves so you leave them somewhere you just go uh, uh since we are already into uhv through feeling of right understanding with my neighbors i have made some arrangement for my kids with the neighbors <laughs> with my colleagues with my friends uh, so completely only my friends are taking care of my kids not only now for many years <laughs> so uh, since they were born till today if my friends and neighbors are not there i would have not grown up my kids so uh, that is not a problem the main thing is uh i i do have a feeling of right understanding and my husband do understand that i have a right feel, uh, i have feel for him but that feel that's what he is asking uh what is there if you just have the feel i tell i am having a feeling for you i i have uh, like uh, i i am able to understand what you are undergoing but some expression i do need i too need right uh, I, then what is the use of being in a family when i'm going out you are not there when i am coming in you are not there so what is the use when i am at home you are not there with me so what is the use of this family yeah so concern is genuine then you have to see how you can modify your profession also if that is possible like you or your spouse you have to think of some program isn't it and it could also be the case like when you go in the evening and the husband is not there and he comes at 10 o'clock so maybe you can take a short nap in the evening and then try to see how you can see your husband in the late night matlab up to you you have to decide one important task which is doable is to also make out the need for physical facilities and then we can make out to what extent we have to do like this could there be better modes of ensuring the availability of physical facilities to what na extent do i need the physical facilities all those things have to be worked out yes because in the long run when the children are not able to have the affection of both of you then that will have repercussion also so that you have to see nice so i am the one who decides what instructions are to be passed to the body and what sensations are to be read from the body i decide to transact from time to time as and when required and i can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where i am at a distance from the sensation there is a distance between me and the body isn't it so we'll have again to go step by step to all these steps because at every step i may have so many things to observe isn't it it is let's say easier said than you know observed so, <laughs> so we have to observe it closely my interaction with the body or the world outside is by way of sensation i give meaning to the sensation my reaction or response depends on my sanskar so i can see that the basis with which you know i interact with the body there is some sensation some meaning associated with that and my reaction response depends on that sanskar so basically when i am able to see the sensation i can see that it's not the sensation which is deciding my feeling it is my sanskar based on which i associate some meaning to the sensation on which i am associating some meaning to the sensation so am i aware of that sanskar that we have been doing exercise one also that i need to be aware of my feeling you know and that feeling is responsible to make me happy or unhappy so i am deciding my feeling here also you'll see that i am deciding the meaning associated with the sensation isn't it so i have to work on that you know meaning that i am associating i have to work on that sanskar that is only deciding the reaction or response so i tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption so i decide my feeling right or wrong become happy or unhappy based on external inputs and then i react but another possibility is that i respond when my sanskar is based on understanding and i continue to remain in harmony my feeling remains natural in accordance with human nature i continue to be in a state of happiness i use external input to rightly evaluate the external situation and then i respond for the situation outside is only triggering thing if i am having the right understanding if i am having the right sanskar right i always respond so it will not trigger some you know uh, kind of assumption in me because i have been able to evaluate my assumptions and my all imagination is guided by right understanding now 
but if some preconditioning some assumption is there in me which is not guided by right understanding some you know thing is there in me then i react so my reaction and response again is my choice so if i have the right understanding i respond if i do not have the right understanding i react so that again means that i have to work for my right understanding so that i respond every time so that conclusion that we drew in exercise 1 you know, at step 6 that i need to work for right understanding and sure right understanding you know, so that i am happy every moment similarly here we can see that i need to ensure right understanding in me so that i respond every time now there is another shift here in step 7 of exercise 2 that is basically a preparation for exercise 3 so we started by observing the sensation and, and then we saw how I associate the meaning to the sensation, how it decides my feeling, my response or reaction. Now in step 7, we are saying that I can also observe that I am there in space. So this is observing my being in space. So I am in coexistence in space, the body is also in coexistence in space. I am transacting information with body through space. This step 7 is a step which is introduced with the idea that you start working on it so that you are, you start getting a feel of it by the time you know, we become, we come to exercise 3, observing the coexistence by the self. So this is something that we will you know, leave it for now, we are not going to do this right now, but at least since we are talking about submergence, we are talking about space. So we can observe the coexistence also, we can observe the space also, but for that I have to observe my being in space. So, we, so just start observing, do not try to conclude things in a hurry, keep working on it, keep observing. So we talked about exercise 1 and 2 and we also practiced step 1 of exercise 1. Now as uh, session pro proceeds, we will also practice exercise 2 step by step. So in exercise 1, we practice step 1 you know, and then we will go to practice step 2 and 3 also and then gradually come to exercise 2 also. In exercise 1, um, uh, point number 2 and 6, somehow I feel they are same. Uh, can you help me identify the difference between 2 and 6? Okay. At step 2, I am just trying to find out Anna, whether the feeling I have at this moment, is it naturally acceptable to me or not. At step 6, I am tracing what is acceptable to me naturally. Moment and One naturally accepted. I have some feeling, okay. Maybe I am justifying something within me that yes, I have to take revenge from this person. This person has you know, harmed me so much. <laughs> now I am asking myself whether this feeling of revenge is acceptable to me naturally or not. This is step two. At step six, I am asking what is acceptable to me naturally, relationship or opposition. So here I am developing the alternative. If this is not acceptable to me, then what is acceptable? So essentially, what we need to do, we need to observe the feeling, observe whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. If not, then what is acceptable, I have to trace within me and then ensure it. That's so all. if at the step second only I get that feeling that yes, it is you know or yes is acceptable then then six is skippable i Not can skip that it becomes no. coherent so at step two i'm able to see that yes this is acceptable to me naturally okay then i can also see that it is in line with relationship fine okay so i'll continue with that